Some people are more bottom than others. Of course, that's just about as insulting as you can possibly get. Hit me. Party at the Church of Scientology. Let me drop some science on Scientology. Ron Hubbard's weird sci-fi philosophy. They cloud theology and top secrecy. Technology, mythology, and no apology. 1952 was when it all began. Started on a bet by a frustrated man. His books weren't selling, so Elrond thought fast. He started his own religion and make a lot of cash. Alien rulers, past lives, tone scales, copywritten text, and scary emails. Shutting up the critics, core battles left and right. Mysterious deaths in the middle of the night. Personality tests, e-meters narking on. Times Square recruitment for Dust to dawn. All this from the guy who wrote Battlefield Earth. Salvation for a feel see what your soul's worth. There's a place in Florida where you got friends. What help you present if you give us those ends? Party at the church in Scientology. Don't call it a cult, you just don't understand. Write us a check and take our hand. Party at the church in Scientology. Actors are a target for their army of elite They feed their self-esteem and make them feel complete They mess with their minds, just look at Tom Cruise Jumping on the couch during Oprah's interviews John Travolta fights Satan's in his Florida estate Piloting his plane, Dianetics books on tape Bet counts past lives in a temple in Bel Air Katie Holmes stays home in place, pregnant solitaire Isaac Hayes still pays to reach that upper level state But left South Park when they hated on his face Sonny Bolo made donations, should have bought better skis Dougie Fresh, Free Crusaders on the mic as EMCs Juliet Lewis, Jason Lee and Shaka Khan Because of Elrond, all their money is gone Shikaria, Kirstie Alley, and Nancy Cartwright Hopes weekly prayers, some girls on the UFO headlines Once you step into the temple, your troubles will be gone We'll get you back on track, every Everybody sing along. Party at the church in Scientology. Don't listen to the lies, you know they're all are true. So why not come on down, cause we're waiting for you. Party at the church in Scientology. So that's Scientology, P-S-E-U-D-O, R-E-L-I-G-I, one you person, now you know. They drain your cash fast, so as long as you agree, you can put up rise on freedom when it's coming COD. Okay, they ruin lives, and it sounds like science fiction. What about Noah's Ark, Jesus, and the crucifixion? Faith is subjective, you can't say who's right or wrong, though I'll probably end up missing just for writing the song. Hey, did you guys hear that the Easter Bunny's bringing Bigfoot to the meeting tonight? All right, everybody, welcome to Cult from the Satanic Panic, or as we call it, Satans and uh, Thetans. As you can see, I'm joined by a guest. Uh, this is Liam. Hey, Liam, how are you? I'm good, Dave. Yourself? Good, good. You've been you've been up a while. Thanks for staying up with us tonight. Or I guess it's this Absolutely. morning. Where is it this morning where you are yet? It's five past six. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> well, thanks. Uh, you've had a hell of a day, but uh, before, we, before we get maybe a little bit into the day you've had. Um, I know you because you've been a moderator of what used to be the SPTV and it's now called the PTS discord. Do you remember about when you started being a moderator there? January, February of this year might've been earlier. might've been November last year. It was around sort of Christmas period. Cool. 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 A lot's happened since I began. <laughs> it's like a long fucking time since November. My God. Absolutely. Cool, cool. And you just like a couple weeks ago, you actually took over as the owner of the uh, PTS yes. Discord. Yeah. The previous yeah. moderator yeah. had the good sense to fucking cut and run. Yeah, when when Michelle needed to step down, yeah, I took over. Cool. And that, that you were... I. I don't think I'm speaking out of turn by saying that decision was like somebody had to take it over or it was going to poof. Well, that was potentially what was going to happen. Yeah. So, um, I, I see it as a, a space that's needed. So I volunteered. Cool. Cool. And, um, I wanted to kind of just talk about what it's been like. Uh, had you moderated, a, a maybe not necessarily the size of the community, but had you moderated communities previously where there was a lot of, yeah, I guess like controversy. Uh, uh, 
Well, I'd moderated communities where it could get a little bit out of hand, but we didn't really have the same level of controversy that we do now because they were gaming communities. So it was just game arguments, which were easy to defuse. And then when you compare that to the arguments we're now having to defuse within the anti-Scientology department, uh, it, they, they were a walk in the park. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, the gaming community has has its problems, but it's mostly just that it's a lot of like young men who tend to be impulsive. And if there's a few yeah. older, more mature people in those communities, that's that's easy enough to kind of nudge the, the, the people in the right direction. A- absolutely. Whereas in this community there's less of the young people that can be nudged in the right direction and, and, and people get stuck in there. This is the right and you're wrong. And trying to budge them is like trying to get blood out of a stone. Yeah. I mean, you know, I, I suppose I can be like that myself sometimes, but I do try to, I do try to not be like that as much as possible. Ah, yeah. Yeah, not too much of a problem, Dave. Uh, <laughs> not too much. That's I, how I, I describe it. I, I, I only have one memory of having to get in the middle of one of your arguments. Oh, well, that's fine. That's fine. I'm a. Uh, that's not too bad. Um, I think, and you know, I think a lot of what's going on there is there's a lot of uh, not everybody in there. It's a good mix, I think, of never in people, uh, people who were in like for some portion of their life, and then people who are in all of their lives. So you're going to run yeah. into like personality conflicts and people with you know oh, some absolutely. trauma from having been in a fucking well, cult from from never mind just the people that were in scientology but we've got people who are never in who've got trauma from being in heavy evangelical christian communities or being in other cults so we, we've got a mix of everybody yeah yeah i mean you know, I, I like it in there in case people don't know. The first time I went in, I flamed out of that Discord. <laughs> I don't know if you were there. It was a, it might have been summer of last year. And um Yeah, it was just after we started. So I was I was in there, but I was still sat quietly in the corner. <laughs> well, I mean <clears throat> what ha- what ended up happening though was we, we ended up watching uh Michelle's video about Goldie and you know, I heaped praise on her because of that video. Yeah. And then she, we, because she is the person she is, she reached out. She's like, come on back. Come on back, Brando. Yeah. Mich- Michelle, Michelle's lovely, but it just all, all the drama surrounding it. She just needed a break. Oh yeah. I mean, <clears throat> you know, it's totally understandable. You know, I'm glad, I'm glad you picked it up. I think there were, um, I don't know if, if there were other candidates or whatever, but there were a couple other people in there who I thought would have done a good job, but I was glad to see that it was you that, that ended up picking it up. Although, although now, unfortunately through basically through no fault of your own, through no action that you have taken, possibly through actions that you haven't taken. Now you're the target of what I'm going to go out. I'm going to call it. It's almost like a conspiracy theory community. The, the SPT community now, now you're a target. um, That that sucks. I'll, I'll be honest. Um, some of it is by accident because I now run the server, but partly deliberate because I want to take the gunshots off Michelle, who's still getting blamed. So part of it is a deliberate move on my part. Well, I mean, however, it, however it is, just the the way that you're being that you're going to be characterized going forward is going to be pretty dishonest because the. First of all, I think like a lot of the community that we're dealing with here, the uh, anti-Scientology community, most of them are pretty unfamiliar with, uh, with Discord more uh, generally. And, yeah. and um, <clears throat> you know, like like Reddit has its own thing where, I you know, I jokingly say Reddit is for like people who outgrew 4chan. And, uh, but Discord is like a very different thing, I think, from other, oh, yeah. other, other like, I'm not even sure it's social media. It's like a chat room, essentially. And I yeah, think a, it's, oh, go ahead. I, I I would put it in the chat room class because it's you can post things in there, but give it ten minutes. If there's a good conversation going, whatever you've posted has disappeared. It's up the top somewhere. So I I'd, I'd class it as chat room. 
Right. And I mean, the main difference between uh, Discord and other services, even Reddit, is that there's no virality. Like, if I post something in my Discord or yours or whatever, and people really yeah. like it, there's no chance for it to basically go viral or be... It might get shared not, in other communities, but not in the same way yeah. that like a Twitter post or even a Facebook post will go viral. There's some there's ways in which the the nature of the system kind of puts the brakes on that. Uh, I think mostly Absolutely. for better. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I I I, I mean I I do use Reddit. I have got a Reddit account, but I'm very rarely on there. Um, I much prefer Discord because it. I find it easier to actually have a conversation. Yeah, I think, you know, even but, in, you know, con contentious then, then or... Con you've got, Go ahead. You have got the downside. Yeah. Because things can be taken out of context because people can't be bothered to read the entire conversation. Well, and to be fair, even if I go in and try to catch up, sometimes it's impossible. So, mm -hmm. but I just go in and I'm like, I just go in and I'm like, I show up, I'm just thinking to myself, damage report. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's the best way to look at it. Damage report, because <laughs> nine times out of ten, it will be a damage report. <laughs> plus, like before um, we started reporting, I guess particularly on Aaron and the orbiters around him. I mean, I was doing maybe an hour a week on Scientology, and maybe to do that, the associated research was maybe another two hours every week. Because I've been kind of friendly with a lot of people in the anti community, um, you know, ranging from journalists to gossips. I think that's the range, actually, journalists to gossips. And so I, you know, I have some background in it. <clears throat> if I really wanted to just kind of phone it in, I'd be like, oh, what's on their 24 hour channel? Sorry, everybody. We're watching Voices for Humanity today. <laughs> Absolutely. Whereas with, with everything that's been going on, it's difficult to just phone it in now. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, I, I did take a step back from it after I put the article out, uh, my second article mm -hmm. on this in March. Uh, not taking like, like, I did things like in my list of servers, I moved the anti-Scientology ones off of the screen so that I have to scroll down and like intentionally go to them. You know, there's no problem yeah. with the people in there or whatever, but I like have other stuff that I need to be focused on. And I can't um, yeah. personally allow myself to be focused here because then I like my, I felt like, especially, especially during June and July of last year of 2023, I was trying to chase down independent confirmation of the story the that oh. the, the masterson i was trying to chase down like good independent conversation of that and or com conversation uh corroboration of that story and confirmation of it and it just i just was like i was looking back through some of my other content and i was like uh oh up 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 i is off the ball nope 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 the conspiracy show which is usually my most popular one was my worst one this week because it's the day after the scientology show and so <laughs> So th things got bad, but, you know, I appreciate that there are people in there, um, uh, you know, uh, helping each other. Um, the, 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 the place has been really helpful for me. If I just need to get caught up, I can just go in there and kind of <laughs> cop to not knowing what the fuck's going on. Or like there was somebody there mentioning there. I forget they're now calling me now like danger mouse or danger dead mouse or whatever. Then I was like, who the fuck is that? And thankfully nobody told me, which is great. Actually, I'm, I'd like to thank everybody <laughs> for not telling me who the fuck that is. But for, for you, you're now in a position where there's a way in which you have to keep track of a cast of characters and kind of be able to put what people say and do into like a broader context of what they've yeah. said and done during, during their time in the server. And that's got to be, that's got to, people were making fun of me yesterday for talking about my cognitive load, but there's, there's some cognitive load associated with that. Oh, absolutely. Um, I, I've, I've. I can fully understand why Michelle needed to take a step back because I, I jokingly call Discord my second job. Right, right. And, you know, for it, it might be, I mean, what, what it's Friday morning where you're at and you've been up. I don't even want Absolutely. to know how long. You don't even do drugs Absolutely. and you've I been mean, up for I mean, tonight, let's, to, to be honest, tonight has been a one off just because of the various things that have gone on. Um, but most, most days, if you're in, Three hours prior to this, around three o'clock, I'll still be floating around. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but then it's time to go to bed because you, you know, you, you gotta pay yeah. the bills and stuff. 
Oh, somebody asked for something from the field. soundboard that, that, that we just talked about cognitive load, and I think they want. Not only can you take a load, you can take the ultimate load. <laughs> that's, that's, <laughs> oh, my yeah, God. So, so my, yeah, I, I'm, I'm most, most days I'll be still around till three, four o'clock in the morning. And then what time, do you, what time do you generally get up to start your day? Anytime between eight and nine. That, uh, cause, cause even, even though I've got the day job, I am self-employed, so I can pick and choose the hours I'm working and what time I start. So there's no, I, I don't have to be out of bed at seven o'clock to be getting in the car to drive to the office for half past eight or nine o'clock. So it's still not enough sleep, friendo. I don't know. I think you're, you, I believe you're more or less in my uh, age cohort, and you should probably be sleeping more. <laughs> I, I um, uh, uh, unfortunately, since I was in the army many, many years ago, the idea of a decent night's sleep has long since left my memory. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, that's one of the things because, like, not only do I cover this, but I we cover, you know, the conspiracy communities and extremism and stuff. Yeah. And one of the things, like, when I'm interviewed by other people, if they ask, "What do you do to like kind of keep your head on straight?" I'm like, first of all, I'm not sure my head's on straight. But I make sure to get like eight or nine hours of sleep every night, no matter what. Like I, I, I keep saying to myself, I, one day I will do it. I even have an alarm set on my phone that gives me a notification at 11 o'clock saying, go to bed. And I'll still be sat here till three. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you're trying. <clears throat> so I want to talk a little bit about, um, like, I kind of want to get into like, we could talk a little bit about the experience you had earlier, but I want to talk about some of the stuff that we, you were kind of, that didn't come up that, that some of the stuff that it was impossible mm -hmm. to talk about. And I want to kind of ask, I mean, for just for a point of reference in my discord, any serious moderator decisions I just make because it's mine. Right. Yeah. I, I mean, and the, I have one other person who I, who, if they're heavy handed, it's just tough shit. If the media wench is heavy handed, you pissed mm -hmm. off the media wench and that's very hard to do. So I will back yeah. her up. But on important stuff, not just like somebody comes in and is like, ooh, uh, you know, nudes in bio, you don't have to really have a moderate. You don't have, there's no decision there, right? You just kick that person no. out. There you go. But how do, how do the mods, if there are maybe more important decisions to, to be made as uh, far as moderation? We, we, have, we, we have a separate moderator chat, um, both text and voice. Um, and whoever's noticed it will link it and put it into the mod chat and we'll make a decision that way. Um, and if we can't make a decision as a, as a group, I just go, right, they can stay or they're gone and I'll make the final decision. But we do try and make the decisions as a group so that we're all on the same page. Right. Or um, even if, if, but, if but somebody, because of, because of the nature of my discord, I've got mods that are based in America and I've got the mods that are based in Europe like me, because otherwise we're not covered enough hours in the day. Right. Um, so sometimes it's not as easy as being able to get all the mods to agree because we're not all there and I don't want to sit on it for too long. So I'll take a consensus opinion and make the decision from that point. And but ultimately the buck stops with me. And I think it's, it's probably, it's probably not that uh, difficult. I think for what's going on for your discord, if I had to guess, I would imagine it's like, it like kind of ebbs and flows where there'll be times when some th particular thing is going on where the moderators have to be a little bit more active, but then between those times, everything's kind of mostly just chill and you're yeah. just dealing with spam yeah. to the, or just. I mean, this this week, up, up until Thursday, we had had a quiet week and, and there wasn't a lot going on. And then Thursday, everything blew up and it was all hands to the pump. And it happened to be Thursday. I decided we've had a quiet week. I'm going to have the evening off. I'm not even going to look at Discord. Happened to look at my phone and it had all blown up. <laughs> yeah, it's, you know... I remember in November um, thinking that that there were kind of two ways that the situation was going to go, that either it was going to be real big for a minute 
and then it was gonna like it was gonna have run its course and then it would have been over by like maybe valentine's day or whatever or mm-hmm. that i thought it was going to be that the other thing that it was going to be a slow burn and i think what ended up happening is something kind of between the two of those things with the, yes. with, the with the conflict yeah. where there's still a bit of there's you know there's a, it it didn't crack off quite as bad as i thought it was going to like i thought things were going to get real bad like real bad like i thought there was some potential even for some of the uh, conflict to find its way off of the internet um and if affect people's like in real life lives now i don't know everything that has or hasn't happened but i haven't heard too much about that but i've not i've not heard too much other than what we already know of things that have gone off in real life it's it does seem to be contained but whether it will remain that way i'm still to be convinced um just this is this may be a weird question because it's like a hypothetical what sort of thing would need to happen for you to be like all right i'm shutting this down i know it's a weird hypothetical and you can just tell me to fuck off with my weird hypothetical if you're inclined. I, I, I don't I, I, I the honest answer is i don't think i would um because the reason for that is even if we finally get to the end of this and we shut Scientology down. We've got such a a, a core group of people that all get on. I think we'd probably stay alive in some capacity or other just to carry on yakking to each other. Right. To promote my channel, stuff like that. We promote your channel. We (laughs) we promoted your channel tonight because I'm on it. (laughs) But we, we do promote To be fair, we do promote your channel most, most weeks anyway because you've you've got a feed in in the discord so yeah, yeah. You're, you're promoted every week i was kind um, of surprised when they put it there because i do so little on scientology and pete and michelle were like now nah, you have a youtube channel you hang out here you're mostly all right yeah, <laughs> you can- yeah absolutely so you, you've got a feed um and, and and we have started branching out because we've we've now got our own youtube channel which at the moment of course is focused on scientology but if other people want to come on and have a chat about other cults or whatever then they're free to do it so we 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 do do other stuff as you know we've got the other cults channel so we cover other stuff in there as well um so i think i think it would have to be a nuclear sized explosion for us to actually shut down okay fair enough fair enough that wasn't that was I don't even know why I asked that because that's like you're. I'm like asking a, a what are they like like that Rumsfeld? That's an unknown unknown, right? <laughs> like, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, you saw it tonight after what we're going to go talk about in a minute, where we were all just sat in a stage just yabbing away. Yeah, yeah. I uh, speaking of that because um because I'd like to like to you know move on. If if you what whose whose channel did you go on today? Uh, uh, and what was your goal uh, going on that channel? The, I, I went on with the lovely Ono Nora. And, and, and what is she? Is, for people who don't know uh, about her, what is, she what, what is, is, what is her she, proclaimed she, she, focus? She is, she is one of the SPTV creators whose main focus is supposed to be exposing Scientology. Um, the reason I went on is because as a Discord, we have been under constant attack. We've been called a cesspool. We've been called this. We've been called that. We've been called the other. And Michelle and Pete in particular have been constantly, and, and Burke, one of the members, constantly called out for various um, different things. So my whole purpose really for going on was to try and find some sort of accord where we could have I wouldn't say a lasting peace, but at least some sort of peace where the attack stopped. Um, even, even if it only stopped for three or four months, but I'm not sure I achieved that. (laughs) So I'm not sure that it was achievable. Um, my impression of, of the conversation was that uh, she had you on there to scold you. Yeah, that that's how it very much came across. Um, in the end, uh, I, I mean, I was, I, I, and I'm not frightened to say this, and I'm sure many of my members would tell you the same thing. 
I was told by so many of them that I was wasting my time. But uh, like you, I am very bullheaded. And it was like, no, I'm going to do this. Well, I mean, there there was little to gain, but in in like the real world, there was nothing to lose by going on there. Absolutely. Um, and, and and I will be honest, part of it was because I'm now running the Discord and for many, many months now, Michelle has been in the firing line. So by going on one of these channels, hopefully I can take some of that fire away from Michelle and it will start coming on to me rather than her so that she does finally get a break. Yeah, and I think that, you know, um, I've, uh, become like online friends with her since and she seems to be just doing other stuff which is great yes absolutely she's, she's got a, a lot of other stuff going on she's like thrifting and antiquing i'm like okay this is all very good this is all very good for you and and spending time with the family which is good good news yeah i wanted to talk about a couple of things that i noticed that were happening in there one there was this kind of asymmetry in that you were constantly asked to answer for things that people were saying or doing or fucking not doing. And then anytime you brought up the behavior of someone in their community, she was like, well, I can't answer for them. Absolutely. I did notice this, but if I'd given that as an answer, I would have been burnt at the stake. Right. Right. And I, there were also some, and in fact, I am. If if you now go and look at the comments on that video, I am being burnt at the stake. And there were also like a lot of false statements made. Um, I'm going to be careful here. Um, they were suggesting that another creator is like the overlord in there and not to be criticized, yes. and that you get kicked out if you do so. Uh, that's a creator that I've had and, run-ins with, and I have not been removed. As, as I mentioned before, I've only got in the middle of one of your arguments. Uh, but I wasn't. I wasn't removed. And um, no. and and, uh, and nor and, and nor was the other individual involved. Right, right. I I did it. I I got in the middle and said, "Gentlemen, can you take this private? We don't need this in in public." And you both backed off, and and everything calmed down. Um, the uh, we have tightened up on um how why people get banned now, but you used to have to go some to get banned. Yeah. And I mean, the, the other thing that's, that I found interesting that I noticed was they were talking about how, Oh, you guys ban everybody. And I swear to you, I've never commented or on Nora's video, nor have I said anything in her chat. Mm -hmm. And then when I, I, I was commenting in there, I wasn't, you know, I wasn't trying to stir shit or anything. Um, but I was, you know, I was just saying, Hey, you know, I was trying to say that certain things that were being said weren't true or that hasn't been my experience. Mm -hmm. And then I looked at the screen share of the the thing in the discord and I was like, wait a minute, my comments aren't there. And I'm like, I've never said anything to these people. And I'm like blocked from commenting. And I'm like, that's, Absolutely. I find that interesting. We, we, our, our role has always been, it doesn't matter which side of the fence you're on in this particular conflict that's happening at the moment. If you come in with an open mind and you don't come in attacking, you're welcome. Come in all guns blazing, you ain't going to last long. Well, and it's it's not the not the right way to enter a new community anyway, because if you have like legitimate concerns or whatever, people aren't going to listen to you if you just go and come in like super hot and uh mm -hmm. but it was it was just in, it was interesting to see and i think there's a bit of a dynamic going on and i haven't quite like put my put my finger on it or quite figured it out but there's a way in which because you're like fairly good natured and you don't you're not you're not kind of there for the rope dope in in most cases it doesn't seem like it seems to me that they would be you know willing to talk to you because honestly because I think that, and I, you know, in a way she, Nora was probably right. They, she thought she could uh, bully you. She thought she could uh, mm -hmm. steamroll you during the conversation. Yep, absolutely. She did. And, and, and to a degree, I think I did let her because I might've got, let my nerves get to me or whatever. But after the first hour, 
I was sat here going, okay, I've had enough of this now. So it got to it got to the point where I was just like, yeah, okay, whatever. Right, and there's because I knew I knew nothing I said was getting through. So what was the point? Right. And one of the things that I do, and I'm not saying that, you know, you should do it or anybody else should do it, but if I'm going to talk to somebody that I know I disagree with, I, um, just, you know, talk to them a little bit before I'm like, Hey, I'd appreciate it. If I'm on their, uh, thing or what channel or whatever, I'm like, first of all, I'm recording from my end. Um, mm-hmm. if you, if, you know, if you don't like that, that's tough shit because you're broadcasting me. Um, and I'll, I'll say, you know, secondly, please don't, please don't mute me. If you need to finish, just let me know. And then third, I'm like, I'd like to, I, I'm out after an hour. I just straight up, like, I'm, I will. Yeah, not- I, I, I learned a lot of lessons tonight. I'm, I'm very new to all of this, um, especially on YouTube, Twitch, all that sort of stuff. I mean, I've watched a lot of it, but I'm very new to actually being on camera myself. Um, and I learned a lot of lessons tonight that if I'm ever (laughs) invited on to somewhere where I know I'm going to be in the middle of conflict, it will be a strict hour cut off bang. Right. And if you can record from your end too, in case they try to pull any shenanigans. Um, I I mean, when I'm, cause I did my first interview with one of our members who's an ex Scientologist on our channel last week and before we did it we had a a hard we'll cut the interview at an hour if we have to do a part two or a part three we will do but we cut the interview at an hour and then we have half an hour of questions and then done so I did have that with my one but I didn't I should have laid the rules down a bit tighter with well, it's just if you have a dis- if you have a disagreement with somebody and you can't hash it out in an hour, I just they, you know you you end up either going around in circles if they let you talk, or in this case, I feel like as time went on, uh, the 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 host got more and more to use a Scientology word, interbulated, and more and more oh, angry, and absolutely, and, was- and and I and I and I do want to put this on record because I'm sure there are members of of the discord who are watching this right now and i want to put it on record on video um that i couldn't do anything that i'm doing now without the members that we've got and the ones that do support me and and support the work that we're trying to pull off because what i what what i'm trying to do is put us back on task. I know Scientology is a dying cult. It is going to die out naturally eventually. But if we can find ways to speed that up, happy days. But we're not... There's there's so much drama going on in the community at the moment. We've lost focus. We've lost focus of that. I mean, Apostate Alex, I'll give him credit because he's doing a lot in the UK. Um, But when you look at the American side of it, it's a mess. It is. I have a request from the soundboard from the chat real quick. Hold on. Right here, right now. I'm angry. Real angry. I miss Tommy. I miss Tommy. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I, I mean, I mean, uh, there, there were times I will say to you in that interview that I wish I could have done a Tommy Davis, but I, I, I felt just remaining calm and just being myself was the best way forward. Yeah, I mean you're you're fairly you're fairly good natured and you know kind of kind of chill. So like uh, like trying to like going out of out of character would have been like would have been weird and you wouldn't have been like at your best anyway because you would have been like putting on a different a different face or or something like that. Oh, I I, I have got an angry side. I can I can promise you. Um, my my ex wife would tell you that I've I've got a mouth if I need to use it, but. Uh, <laughs> I prefer not to if I can get away with it. And like like you said, there was no like it was it actually kind of wouldn't have mattered what you would have done there because the 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 goal of the other person didn't I, seem to be I, to have a productive conversation. Uh, I I knew right from the minute I agreed to it that I was walking into territory where I wasn't really welcome. I I knew I knew right from the start. 
Right. And it's, it's so funny because I've, the, the last uh, interview we did with somebody I disagree with is this guy, Gary Arnold. Uh, he thinks he talks to uh, uh, spirits or something through a track phone. And I don't think he does, <laughs> but he was like a fucking nice guy. And we had a great time because like, there's no, there was no point in like, you know, in, in being abusive or, or any, anything like that. And uh, mm-hmm. it was some of the stuff he said was kind of funny. And he uh, had a bit of a sense of humor about it himself. And I feel like, I feel like if I would have, you know, the first time I talked to him, I was thinking maybe I'd have to go after him, but then I, you know, I hadn't. And I'm like, well, this is much better actually, because yeah, somebody in Gary is just the sweetest shout out to Gary Arnold. You're mad as a hatter, but you're the nicest guy. Shout out to Gary Arnold. I'm, I'm sure many of my members would tell you I'm mad as a hatter, but there you go. That's his life. (laughs) So like, what do you see? uh going forward like do you see is there with for you is there any value in i'm I'm trying to think of just like just you know a random sptv creator with fifty thousand followers number three is there any value for you doing this again with a different sptv creator i feel there's always value but would i do it? The, the the big question for me is would i do it again and the answer is no. Um, so there's possibly value, but I just don't want to put myself through it again. Yeah, yeah. You know, I jokingly said that next time send me, but uh, that probably wouldn't that wouldn't go so well either. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm I'm glad I tried it, but I wouldn't want to do it again. Yeah, that that makes that makes a lot of sense. You know, it's just again like dispositionally, you're pretty good natured and kind of kind of chill. So it with that kind of format where it's basically um, people, where it's basically somebody like scolding you isn't it's it's not useful in the first place. But then like with your demeanor being the way it is, like it's really not useful because if you're just going to be yourself and be good natured, you're going to go okay, whatever. And then like then, then what? Then what? Yeah. No, then what? Nothing. Then nothing. It's it's a because uh, I, I I can't see the point of getting into a full scale argument because that's not going to achieve anything either, right? So if if they're not going to come and talk to me in good faith and they're just going to bull bait me and, and and accuse me of X Y and Z, some of the things I was accused of and asked about the night happened before I was even a member of the Discord. Never mind a bot. <laughs> Again, I just was really important here. It seemed like even though the host had her own server, it seemed like she didn't know just any the m- the most basic things about the the platform Absolutely. or service itself. Absolutely. And uh, I mean, uh, uh, what uh, one of the comments that I've seen since we finished? Uh, apparently, as because I'm an admin of a Discord, I've got some secret way of being able to find comments quicker than the search bar yeah like looking for like i've like looked for st- in my own discord that i'm intimately familiar with i was like shit what was this thing right this thing happened like eight months ago fuck if i can find it i can't even find i don't even know how to search for a fucking user right to dm them i have to like scroll through the- <laughs> there's some things about discord that could be better and i think search oh, could be better absolutely. it could it could be it could be more user friendly especially in the search situation but that's really not what it's for right it's primarily uh, it's the the idea is and i listened to a pretty good interview uh with uh uh, neil patel from the verge with the discord ceo not too long ago and uh he was like this is a chat room i don't know what you know he's like this is not social media and and that's exactly what it is and that's why trying to search for things is an absolute ball ache and a slow process yeah, and that the other thing that was really weird, and I think it only happened once, is that you were asked to a- answer for something that happened on Reddit, if I recall. Yeah. And and I believe my answer was, I can't answer for anything that happens outside of my Discord. And, like, I don't see you on Reddit. <laughs> I don't see you, like, in the... I, 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 go, I go on there occasionally. I mean, I'll admit it, I... When I did the interview with Patty last week, I did post it on Reddit so people were aware that it was there if they wanted to come and watch it. Um, but that's about being my only <laughs> interaction with Reddit. I am, um, I, I like when, 
I went, I started spending more time on Reddit, like when, um, like in November when the, when, um, Smith 11 was removed from, um, aftermath. And, um, it was, it was nice. I had, uh, you know, I, at, at that time I actually had a few people who had, um, uh, previously been uh, less than pleased with me, uh, particularly because I had called for uh, Smith Levin's removal from Aftermath, like way mm-hmm. back in March. They had got a couple people come to me and be like, "I had this all wrong," and I was like very appreciative of that. Actually, it was very, very nice. I, it's not like it, it's not like an oh, and I told you so, but it's kind of an I told you so. But going the other way, it was a you told me so, right? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So absolutely, just and where. So right now, like, uh, you know, if, if people in my chat wanted to join, they would have to wait, right? You y'all are the, the link is the link uh, is uh, we're, dead we're, for the time the, being. The, the link's suspended at the moment. And, uh, any, any, uh, speculation or, or thoughts on uh, when that might come back? In the next seven, 14 days, depending on how quickly I sort everything out that needs sorting out a week or two, a week or two. That's, that's yeah. cool. That's cool. Yeah. It was, uh, and the 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 interesting the the other interesting thing, and then I want to get to some questions from the, the PTS Discord if if anybody's interested in asking. Absolutely. Um, the I just the screenshots like these were like screenshots of like individual um, yep. individual uh, comments that people had made, and sometimes the the thing that was being complained about was the emoji under the comment, if you recall. Or, or, or the meme, or, yeah, or the meme, the meme where like what well, the 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 why would you do this to yourself essentially meme with the the guy Absolutely. with the gun right? Yeah, like, like at this point, have these people never seen a meme before. Like that's like not that's not some obscure meme. Like my mom knows that meme. Exactly, I've seen that meme all over. Yeah, it's the it's the you know, and, and people know which one I'm talking about. I think it's Eric Andre where where with a yeah. with a firearm. Everybody knows yeah. that meme, and it was just, I was like, what the fuck? She, she was like, oh, this is this is bad. This is bad. And I'm like, is it bad? Oh, real quick. Um, I, I'm not sure how it was bad, because the person who they were saying it was bad towards was the one who pulled the trigger. Right. So I'm not sure how it was bad. Just just real quick, uh, thanks to, uh, we had a bunch of, we've got a, a hype train going on here. Just thanks to everybody participating, especially uh, DJ Dub D, who just gave away five subs. It's very, very kind of you. So I think I'm going to pop out of my own voice over here on Discord and uh, take a look over. Um, oh, wait a minute. Now I'm like, uh, how, now now I'm like, now I'm the motherfucker, or the boomer who doesn't know how to use Discord. Um, whoa, whoa, why, anyone, why, is, yeah. why is there sound coming from there? That's that's not now. Yeah, and, and I, I don't know how to use my own system. Nothing. So uh, I think we're all the way to the bottom here, and it's in the uh, Scientology Talk Discord. Oh, listen to that! Boom. boom. We do have a we do have Pete in there, Pete. If the, if you have a question, I'd be happy to answer it. If you're just in there making sure that uh, people uh, mute themselves, that'd be fine too. We do have a we do have Pete in there, Pete. If you have a question, no, I'm I'm gonna mod this. Just, I I gotta mute myself, so there's no that go. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. And if 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 nobody pops if nobody pops in in the next minute or two, we we won't we won't. No, no, no worries there because this was kind of last minute, and I don't know if like. Well, I, I mean, after after the the one I did earlier on, we obviously did stay on the stage, so a lot of people got a lot of things answered then. So they might not have questions now. So and that's there fine. We go. That's fine. That was that stage. By the way, I was like in there, and I, I was I'm always in like broadcast mode. So anytime anyone else was talking, I absolutely. Uh, did not want to interrupt them. So I was like, well, fuck, I guess I'm not part of this conversation. And that's fine, right? It's just a different, it's like a different format. Yeah. It's it's more casual. Yeah, it was, we were just shooting the breeze in the end. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I like it. I remember, um, oh shit, we reached level two of the hype train. Uh, th- thanks for the bits, everybody. So, well, I'll, I'll kind of keep an eye on that, but um, what do you, what do you, see kind of going forward in 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 the pts discord what do you see you know where where would you like things to be three months out six months out i'm I'm gonna say three months i don't really have a plan for three months out that's just play it by ear at the moment because of everything that's going on 
but I'm kind of hoping six months out as we get towards Christmas, things will have calmed down and we can get the Discord back to where we wanted it to be, where it is talking about, to use a Scientology term, talk about the wins um, and, 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 and talk about how with the the cult itself is is finally beginning uh, beginning to die instead of constantly fielding the the problems fielding the issues um cuz I, I do i want the discord to be a positive community rather than the negativity and the hate cuz it does even even as a mod, and, and as you say, I'm pretty much laid back. I don't, as one of my old bosses once said, if I was any more laid back, I'd be looking at the lights. Um, it, it's, but it does take a toll on on myself and the mods. The amount of drama we're constantly dealing with. So I'd, I'd like to get rid of the drama. <laughs> Great. It looks like we have a divine mischief in there. If you can, if you wanted to unmute oh. yourself, I'd be we'd be happy to field a question if you have one or a comment. Although I don't know, I don't know how that works. I don't know if they've been server muted. I, I'm all clicking on them like I can unmute them they, like they, it's my they, own they fucking server. It, well, Pete, Pete's mod a mod, so if they, if it is a server mute, he can deal with that. Yeah. Otherwise, maybe Divine Mischief is just in there uh, uh, listening. Yeah, and that's fine. Sometimes too. Divine does do that. They should be able to speak when they're ready. Okay. Cool. Okay. Cool. Uh, uh, Divine Mischief is also actually in uh, my server, if I'm not mistaken, which is. Uh, wild i'm also in i'm uh, also in your server i don't say much but i'm in there <laughs> that's okay if you notice not a lot of people be saying much in my server it's pretty 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 mission focused well, i'm i i'm in a i'm in a lot of servers that these days don't get as much attention as they used to <laughs> yeah that's 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 fine i'm in a ton of servers and one of the main reasons i don't leave some of them is you know how the bot will tell people you left i don't want their bot yeah. narking me out for leaving <laughs> Well, you're like if you if you ever leave ours, the only people who'll know is the mods because it only goes in the moderator log, so <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't knock you out. Yeah, my my uh my my bot will be like, my bot's like somebody decided to split, and then it just frown and it puts a frown emoji. <laughs> nice. Yeah, yeah, but like I don't I don't really care if people. No, oh, no, Z divine. Zeno on ours doesn't announce it. Divine. Hey, how are you? I'm doing great. How are you guys doing? Good, good, good. Doing good, doing good. What's on your mind? Well, I'm just kind of checking in to see how things are going, and I'm excited to see what's happening. Oh, well, <laughs> today was a day. Yeah, it was yeah, definitely a day. So. Yeah, today was today was a day. Yeah, I'm just you know I'm 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 glad that uh, you reached out, Liam, because I you know there wasn't a whole lot I wanted to get to, but I did want to like give you uh, I, and Divine. I wanted to give Liam an opportunity to talk about moderation and and ha what he wants to do with the server without somebody fucking shouting over him. <laughs> I mean, I mean, the one thing that I have talking about the moderation, the one thing myself and the mods have always done is we try and mod with a light hand we don't we we will only jump in if it gets too much and otherwise we just try and let it flow yeah it's it's easier that way it's easier that way for sure well we didn't uh we didn't get a whole lot of comments that's okay though i think like you said you had a um you had a chance to yeah, for everybody we, we, to chit chat earlier. Absolutely. And, and any of your lot throwing any questions at us while we've been yabbing? Um, I mean the chat, uh, no, the chat, but they, uh, let's see. Oh, uh, beach, uh, big beach boy. Uh, yeah. Thank you for subbing by the way. You can ask the question in the chat if you are inclined or you can pop into the voice in the PTS server. If you have a question about uh, what went down. If you pop it into the chat, I can uh, read it out. That's up. It's up to you. I kind of buzzed out after a while just because I knew it was getting frustrating. 
listening to Nora over talk and blatantly lie about stuff. Yeah, I mean, I had meetings with people, but I don't know how much of, more of it after like forty-five minutes I would have been able to take anyway, because I don't like, you know, I uh, for a, for a while when we first got to Twitch, there were a lot of like uh, political debate panels, and uh, I stopped going on them. And now the only time I'll ever go on them is if I'm just fucking shit housed, and it's like three in the morning, and there's a debate panel. <laughs> Yeah, I think I think I think next if if I was ever invited to do that again, I I might have to have a bottle of whiskey with me. <laughs> I I I definitely had a headache when it was over. Yeah, the the Pete in the the chat mentioned like that you were at at one point essentially being asked to answer for why Mike Rinder hasn't been charged with any crimes, which I thought was fucking weird. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I was also asked to answer why he hadn't revealed what uh, he was taking for his cancer. How am I meant to know? Right. And those things are, we have there's privacy laws around that stuff. And that falls into the category. None of my fucking business. We got uh, Ubanam Rosarium. Sorry if I butchered your name. How you doing? Well, <laughs> we did one that. issue that I that I have with Nora and them is they keep saying that you should use your real name. Well, why the hell would you give them your real name when you know what they're going to do with it if they don't like you? Yeah, I think it's different for like me or now that um, not Liam and I don't know Liam's last name, but for either of us with being willing to put our faces on camera, finding out our government names would probably be trivial. But for people who are just in the community chatting, I think it's important for people totally. to be able to use a handle and not put their yeah. real name. Cause some of these people are cult survivors and like, like I don't, yeah, there's a, just a lot of like different reasons that as long as people are behaved in a community is well moderated, anonymity is fine. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I, the, mine, Liam is my go given given first name, so um, they they can't accuse me of of hiding behind a pseudonym. But um, if people in the community don't want to give their name, hell, they don't need to give their name. I don't care, right? Because otherwise, Discord would make you give <laughs> as, your as, as as long as as long as you're not calling yourself something blatantly outrageous or rude. I couldn't give a monkeys. <laughs> they complained about huge ass. That was pretty funny too. I, I did. I did pull them on that one because I did point out that it was a Simpsons reference. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh man, that's well, like funny. For me, I oh, go ahead. I can't imagine being doxxed. I have a family. I have a career. I mean, I don't have anything to hide. But I don't. I wouldn't put my family through that. And and. I actually had another username in the Discord before, and I deleted it because I shared way too much information that if somebody really wanted to dig, they could figure out who I am. And it's like, no, I, I'm, well, I'm protecting it, myself. With, with, with me, it's a case of, okay, if they want to dox me, dox me. What are they going to do? Come after my cat? It's me, the cat, and I'm self-employed, so they can't get me sacked. <laughs> right, and also, like, just like even if you were employed by someone else, like, what have what have you done other than taken over a Discord that they don't like? Exactly. exactly. You know, um, you know, the only experience I had with uh, doxing that I thought was a problem was I uh, had a run-in with uh, something called Honey Badger Radio. It is a, um, a male supremacist uh, sort of group. Um, men's rights activists sort of like they were big, they like got popular during Gamergate and they went to publish my information. They got my home address wrong, but among the addresses they published was my fucking parents' home address. And, uh, my community went fucking nuclear on them. If, if they publish my home address and whoever it is wants to come and hunt me down in the middle of nowhere in rural France, uh, good luck to them. Yeah, it's a, it's, I guess like 
it would have been easier like if they would have published my address because i live in the san francisco bay area so i'm sure like they like you, i don't live in a, it wouldn't have been you somebody could have taken a train and walked across the street to where i lived at the time but also like in that case i was just like you know what this isn't really i'm not really that concerned here because i have such a good relationship with my neighbors that like if some shit went down i would have had like people who live in the community who would have you know been helpful in whatever even if it was just calling the law if that was necessary so uh we got uh we got a well, luna had uh, just joined the uh voice luna if you have a question or something you'd like to say i would be happy to hear from you or if you're just there listening that's fine too um we're just listening just just listening cool cool and then we also have uh who else joined Evangelion. I only know that because I had a boyfriend who was into anime. Otherwise, I'd have been like Ava. No, I'd have probably, I'd have probably almost said something real bad trying to pronounce your name. <laughs> I now know the pronunciation. Now you've done it. I've been calling them Evan since I changed the name. Yeah, it's Evangelion. It's a Neon Genesis or some. I don't remember. I don't remember. I just my boyfriends have all been into anime, so I don't know why. What's up? What's up, Evangelion? Just to only date boys who are into anime. I feel that for sure. <laughs> On the other side of that. Sorry, I just uh, really want to make a quick comment. Um, like, the only reason I think that, this is just speaking personally as like a, just a user on the PTS, the only reason that it exists in the space that it exists in at all, at least for me now, is because, like, just as a never end fan, quotes, fan. We were all let down by the SD, SPTV creators, right? Like every single one of them, you know, if they're straight or, or LGBT or queer or anything, stood up for Aaron, who is a guy who has uh, committed acts against women and done things. Sorry, I'm trying to be careful. I don't really know how Twitch works. Nobody called him out except for one ex Scientology creator, and I won't say the name. Um, it's up to them to do that. Anyway. That's all I want to say is that, I mean, the reason that it exists in that space is because SPTV on YouTube has failed its fans with, you know, I don't know, letting the president of a charity <laughs> for abuse victims just exist as an abuser. And then when there's video evidence of it, oh, it turns out he's actually a victim. So I, that is just, the world went crazy for me for this space in November. I don't get it. That's it. Sorry, I don't want to take up any more time. Oh, no. And. You know, I'll, 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 I don't think I'm divulging too much. When um, when I called for Aaron's removal, um, a few of the people I was friendly with in back channels uh, told me they thought I was right, um, but that they were. Um, I just asked one of them straight up, and they were like, "I'm uncomfortable going after. I'm uncomfortable getting uh, on board with you on this because he's got such a big community." Because I'm dependent on him for money and clicks. I mean, he's the, he's it's like a weird pyramid scheme where he's the biggest YouTuber in this space. I think that's safe to say. And there's just been so many evidence of so many different creators of like, okay, well, we you know we can't uh, poke the bear, I guess. And it's just it's so disappointing. For all these people are so brave in so many ways, and it's just to be completely let down by this. It's very frustrating. Yeah, but, you know, that, that's, um, that's the other thing for me is why when they've got anywhere from Aaron's number of subs to 15,000 subs, why they're coming after a Discord where we've got 800 people? I mean, we're, we're not even a tenth of the size of the smallest channel. So I think some of that might be that, um, that it's a... a that it's a place to re that it's a place where people who are doing uh, work in the space, they use it for research, that it's a place to get information. And so it could be, um, as, as we know from the, the actual, uh, the actual bad actor that we're all supposed to be dealing with here, Scientology, it's about, it's mm -hmm. about con the control of information and the control it mostly, the, you notice they don't like Reddit either, right? Because they can't control yep. Reddit. And the, the criticism of of uh, Aaron and the other SPTV community uh, SPTV creators has been happening on Reddit for quite some time as well. And I think it's because they're trying to launder like this personality cult, like YouTube space, like like super chat thing as activism, and it's just it's like so obvious. I don't I don't get it. <laughs> Sorry. No, that's okay. That's okay. And I, you know, I've <clears throat> I've had interactions with people who have said negative things about me or 
who have said that, you know, that my activism is bad and I'm just like not an activist. I'm like a talking head and a, uh, like a, like tr a troll, mostly, honestly, I'm a troll. So like, it's, it's like, that's not activism. You know, I'm a, right. You're, you're not the head of a charity. Like you're not uh, the president of a charity. <laughs> no, no. And I'm not, I'm not also like claiming to be helping people get out of cults or whatever. Like, uh, you know, my interest in this is primarily, I got interested in Scientology in around 2004, 2005, when a friend of mine that I knew from throwing raves, her mother had passed away. Her mother was a Scientologist. And uh, in her time of need, the cult sucked her in and then uh, she disappeared. And then I, I was like, well, fuck you. I have to learn everything I can about your goddamn space alien cult now, don't I? <laughs> no, no, no. You need to start a rival cult, but do it right this time. And everyone's nice to you instead of, you know, um, criticize you at all. That's, that's, the, that's the trick. What do you think I'm trying to do on Twitch? Oh, fair <laughs> See, if the password recovery wasn't so annoying, I, I probably would have joined your cult. Uh, you need to talk to Twitch about that. Yeah, there's some problems. Twitch isn't, Twitch isn't always the most user-friendly experience all, for the viewer. And that's, you know, it's really weird is that, like, if, if I had a password recovery problem, that would, I'd be fucked. It's hard. It's, like, harder to, like, remember my Twitch password than my bank password. It's, it's nuts. Just, just to use a niche reference on this one that some of our Discord users will understand, we did. It's called Baconology. Baconology. So I also see Alex the Dandy in there. Alex, uh, you, you in there listening, or is there something you got something to say? Because we'd be happy to, happy to talk a little bit. Hey, um, yeah. I just also want to say I just subscribed. I accidentally made an incredibly horny Twitch name, but I'm on there as <laughs> Peach Boy. <laughs> hell yeah! Hell um, yeah! That's one of my favorite things, actually, is sometimes like people will have like kind of creative names and sometimes they're a little horny. And uh, one of our <laughs> e emotes is a horny jail emote. Yep, there it goes. There it goes right across the screen. <laughs> um, my question is going to be extremely predictable coming from me, but I because I, I was doing a work event um, or preparing for a work event during the stream earlier, I would love to hear about how uh, Nora addressed uh, the transphobia that we've all been hoping that the queer woman in the SPTV space would address. And if she didn't address it, how did she wiggle around it? She fobbed it off is the answer to that. Um, she gave some weird explanation about how people are allowed to quote how they like whether they're trans men or trans women or trans this or trans that and didn't actually address it at all basically so and oh, go ahead. tried tried to try to push it off as because she's queer herself she tried to push it off as aaron who we're talking about has always been supportive of her. So she doesn't see a problem. So that's, that's no, she tried, she tried to say, Oh, Oh, the idea that trans women are women and, and trans men are men are, is a controversial uh, topic in the trans community. Okay. That's literally what she said. But by, by, by the time we got to this point, cause it was right at the end. If nobody, it, if anybody had been watching for the full two hours would have seen that I'd switched off. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, and Alex, I know that you and I have um, had some, you know, brief interactions in the uh, in the PTS Discord, and a lot of times it, it it is at least adjacent to the sort of undercurrent of transphobia and uh, and Aaron's like willingness to associate with people who are like openly like homophobic, like um, for example, you know, uh, Alex Stein ninety nine, or more recently Andrew Gold. And, um, you know, I, I, you know, I hope I'm, you know, I hope I do, um, you know, I'm gay myself, but I hope I also do the trans and, uh, gender queer people in my community and PTS, you know, I hope I do you, you guys like uh, proud or do you make sure to, you know, bring that up and, you know, do what I can to kind of, kind of push back against that, that stuff that's happening in the anti-Scientology community. And to be fair, like, it's just us, it's just the Aaron group of people. Otherwise I think. I think prime. I think most of the like the old schoolers are genuine when they say that they don't like that Scientology is a homophobic organization. Absolutely. 
I, I mean, I'm I'm straight, and everyone and and, and I, I will support and defend our our friends in the uh, LGBTQ community until the cows come home. I do just gotta say, I think it's real funny that Nora would use uh, support of queer people as, and by funny, I mean uh, annoying and uh, goofy as hell, uh, would use support of queer people um, as like evidence that a person isn't transphobic when we literally see people like pushing LGB minus the T, like we see, we see that all the time now. And it's, I don't know, it's goofy. They're trying to, <clears throat> I mean, my take, and it's just mine is that, that there's a way in which it's about, like um, a lot of white men in my age cohort, especially in the United States, are trying to slice us off. Right. Because they're going to be like, well, you're the normal queer ones or whatever. And I, I, don't, I may not may have, you know, phrased that inarticulately or whatever. But that's like sort of a thing that's happening, and I don't see too much of that in the in the anti Scientology community outside of Aaron and his chosen associations. Um, you know, I've talked to several people who whose names you would know who are pretty open with the fact that they regret having ever gone on Andrew Gold's show, and um, you know, I have a particular problem with Andrew Gold because. Uh, as you know, I kind of lost my shit on stream when he made that video about Doug's passing. Um, I was, it was probably the most angry I had been on stream in several years because that was disgusting. And Andrew Gold is a fucking disgusting person. And, um, <clears throat> you know, it's, it's telling that, uh, Aaron's chosen associations outside of the anti-Scientology community have all been like either like intellectual dark web sort of galaxy brain former new atheist adjacent people or just like straight up homophobes and, and transphobes, you know, he's not going on. Um, yeah, he's just not spending a lot of time in uh, talking to even like moderate conservatives. I can't yeah. I still the litmus test almost for his audience to see, you know, if, if this is acceptable, then what is what what is the next thing that can be said? But I also, you know, I'm a little conspiracy brained when it comes to how people talk about the gays. Yeah, I mean, well, it's a, you know, a, not every conspiracy is false, right? Like otherwise, otherwise, people who uh, prosecute crimes would technically be conspiracy theorists. So, <laughs> yeah, it's 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 weird, but I am I am you know pretty. Um, pretty i guess even though people haven't come out strong in it i am pretty pleased with how that that the old schoolers are not playing that and, and like the people whose names we have known for 10 years or whatever they're not doing they're not playing that shit at all they're not interested in that shit and they will still con criticize scientology for being an anti-queer organization and that's good um i'm just <clears throat> just concerned that I'm just concerned that Aaron's going to go as he starts to try to break, I guess the glass ceiling for lack of a better term of being an anti Scientology creator. He's going to be portraying people who are against Scientology in a certain way and being willing to associate with, you know, a, a bigots essentially is uh, it's a stain. If you're like, don't know anything about people who, you know, or, or the, about the broader community of people who oppose the cult of Scientology, you're going to see him first. And I think mm -hmm. that's, ba that's a, a bad fucking look. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. But I, I think that if, if like, uh, I was, I was, let's say had never really thought about Scientology, you know, and just got on YouTube and was like, Oh, let me look up uh, Scientology. And then, you know, I found Aaron now, as opposed to Aaron years ago when he had, you know, mostly like interviews and stuff up there. It would it would be like completely impenetrable, right? <laughs> like it would just be internecine like um, moderator and like chat drama. Like what would I? You know, I would just click away from that. Like there's right. no way your audience has grown from that, right? And um, my uh, co-host, uh, the media wench Ashley, <clears throat> just von vibes clocked him as a piece of shit like way before I did. Like she was like, I don't like that guy. 
And one of the things I also got annoyed with, and it's, you know, it's whatever, but like, I'd be trying to look up stuff about Scientology from the last week just to do my show about Scientology. And the channel was, whoa, my lights just flickered fucking Xenu. Um, the, uh, the channel was absolutely flooded with his videos. And one of the, one of the other things that I noticed that gave me pause when, when I started really thinking about the problem with him is he, it seems like he can cry on command. And I, I've met people that do that, that they use that as either a manipulation tactic or a way to get people to like them or to um, feel sorry for them or to join their cause. And I noticed that like first noticed it on the Leah Remini show that like, he would just he immediately would just cry on command. And then I saw him tell the same fucking story dozens of times where at the same part of the story, yep. he not, not yep, only yep, would he yep. cry, he it would be the, the body language would be exactly the same. It was almost as if he was acting muscle memory there, right? Like getting him back into the role that, and he also like slightly modulates the story. Like he, like he nudges it just a tiny bit every time he tells it, you know? So and then, so then by like the fifth time, it's like, Oh, this is actually pretty reasonable. <laughs> You know, if you don't know the context, if you don't know what happened, if you just hear what he say, right? Well, I, I, have, you, have you noticed that he um, he's got that? Sorry, he's got that conservative thing where like he really doesn't want to be called a victim, like that. You can tell that's like existentially terrifying to him, right? And I mean, it's like, it's like he only wants to. He, he, I'm sorry, let me rephrase that. No, go ahead. He he projects. He like projects like constant victimhood, right? Like the only clips I see now are you know, crying sometimes, like you said, literally about people being mean to him that no one has ever heard of. That's not like three steps deep into this. You know, it's, that's not like, you're not like a casual Scientology you know, person interested in Scientology who maybe watched the Aftermath show or something. You have to like keep up with like, okay, the moderator and this Scientology auditors protest, you know, Discord, whatever, who like, you know, van broke down. It's, you're several layers deep. Anyway, my point is he's constantly coming victimhood, but then when, Someone, I remember specifically on the Andrew Golden interview where he he brought up that his his apology he had to do for or he thought he had to do when he when he harassed a woman in a bar uh, during his political campaign and he hated the apology he didn't want to do it he said it was forced on him he said he's not a victim and all these things that I don't know it just like he's got that mentality to him it's very weird yeah my just just on that too he even I don't know. The, the, that, that video of him with the cops where he's like, oh, she's fucking hot. That's why I was harassing her like via Facebook message. I'm like, oh, oh, of course. Yeah. What, what, who, who, one of us, who, which of us have not done that and confessed that to the cops? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> like, I don't get it. He's running for, running for us. Well, it's a, you know, it's a good thing he didn't get in. And, um, I guess with that, everybody, um, we're, a we're a few minutes over, uh, how long I wanted to, to be here. And I want to thank, um, everybody in the, the discord who chimed in. I have enjoyed my time, uh, with all of you. And, um, some of you are a part of uh, my community. Now, a few of you followed and a bunch of you followed a, a bunch earlier and I'm going to dip from the, the voice. Uh, thanks everybody again for your contributions. And, uh, maybe, you know, maybe once every three months or whatever, we can do a check-in where I, uh, during the first hour pop into the discord and we, uh, have a have a conversation if that's something uh people would like and uh liam go to sleep i i intend to i am beginning to feel it now my brain has finally stopped running around in circles well i wanted to thank you for uh, reaching out and um i you know i just You're wanted welcome. to make sure that we were on i'll post this i'll post this the whole thing uh, unedited about under youtube and i can send it to you and you yeah. can use it however you want i just wanted to make sure okay. that after okay. what happened earlier today that there was at least something somewhere where you could talk a little bit in like a, a place where yeah. you weren't being you. Just, hollered at about like moderation and your recent takeover and how, you know, how it's, <clears throat> you know, it's kind of a new thing and it's, you know, it's, it's important that, um, you know, it's just, it's kind of important after what happened. I think that people sort of hear a, a more measured and polite version of a conversation with some questions about what's going on in there. And in a couple of weeks, it'll be great to see uh, the new people come in. Or maybe it won't. We we will see what's happened. Hope uh, hopefully it'll all calm down a bit by then. And uh... so, real quick, you said that there's a YouTube channel for the uh, Discord. Yes. Can you uh, where do people yeah. find it, that if they want to follow that? Uh, the the YouTube channel is PTS the Discord. We have we have named it after the Discord. Um, it's all one word in the uh, in the search bar. Fantastic. Well, everybody, this has been Liam, the, uh, the, 
I guess now the owner of the PTS Discord. And um, Liam, maybe maybe in six months or some when, some other yep. time, maybe we'll Absolutely. do this again, or maybe I'll Absolutely. come on your maybe I'll come on your YouTube channel. Who knows? Absolutely, doors open. Well, I will darken your door. Oh, I know you will. <laughs> right on, Liam. Have a good night, and thanks thanks for all you do, all friend. Right. Thank you, Dave, and I'll speak to you soon. All right, everybody, that was Liam. We just talked a little inside baseball on the anti-Scientology community, and I hope my friend gets some fucking sleep. Um, I'm going to take a break. I'm going to play a song real quick. And um, then when we get back, uh, we I have some satanic panic uh, stuff to go over. Those of you who had just joined tonight, uh, please do consider sticking around because some of the stuff we cover about the satanic panic is a, a lot of fun. And... Um, also, you should stick around because this is a, a song called uh, Midnight Snack by something called a Food Metal, which is ex probably exactly what you think it is. <laughs> 